Hello and welcome for another episode Live from the Heart podcast. I'm Anne-Claire Meret. I'm a coach, I'm a naturopath, I'm a writer, and I'm passionate about helping you create the most beautiful life that you can dream of. And this morning I was walking on the beach because every day I go walk on the beach and I had a beautiful audio book in my ears. And this book I've already read twice. I recently bought it in paperback. It's called A Happy Pocket Full of Money and I actually gifted it to my boyfriend too. And so that we can talk about it and I'm currently rereading it again audio and looking at uh, the insights, I can take notes into the books itself. So I just love it. I'm such a nerd for those things. And I wanted to use the opportunity to read to you a passage that I loved. So uh, it's page 62 in the paperback copy, chapter 15 in the audio book. The book is from David Cameron Kigandi, I think is from Kenya in Africa if I'm not mistaken, somewhere else, somewhere like this. So here is what he says. Be specific and do not keep changing your mind. All thoughts count and produce results. Changing your mind all the time confuses the universe. Imagine walking into a travel agency and saying, I wish to travel. Then you look at the agent blankly. He or she is ready to make your reservation but cannot until you say where you wish to go. Imagine now you say, well, I'd like to go to Moscow and Timbuktu at the same time. Again, the agent cannot fulfill that request. Now, imagine you say, okay, then book me to Moscow. No, wait, Timbuktu. No, wait, Moscow. No, wait, I'm not sure if I can afford it. No, I can. No, maybe I don't wish to go there or travel at all. This is how many people think all day. And the universe is confused by their thoughts, just like the travel agent. This indecision produces confused results for them. I love this example. I loved it so much because I see it a lot. I see it in myself. I see it in my clients, in the participants of my programs. I see it in my friends. I see it in my community here in Bali. There is so much doubt and confusion. And actually yesterday I had a beautiful conversation with a friend. We send each other messages every day on WhatsApp and, um, and she told me that she was super confused. Although three weeks ago she was, she was high. She was, she was feeling very um, driven. She knew what she had to do. And then she had conversations with a bunch of people. And then she changed her mind regarding what she actually wanted to do in her heart. So the problem I see is that we are very much impacted by the environments, by other people's advice, by other by, by so many things around us, you know, we get distracted and then we have other ideas instead of sticking to the, the ideas that we had in the beginning and we produce zero results. So what it creates is more confusion, more doubt. And because we're not going anywhere, we just th we're just thinking that, oh, this is how it's meant to be. I'm not supposed to go anywhere. I, I love this. If you want to go somewhere, you book a trip and you stick to it. You know, you make your suitcase, you pay... You pay the ticket, you plan your, your transportation, you do all the things, you know, you book your hotel and then you make it happen. And this is exactly how I see any project, you know, and um, I'm an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur for 12 years and I've done some things which didn't work and I've done a lot of things which worked too. And for me, all of them are success because for me, a success is actually making a decision, creating a plan and stepping into action to achieve it. And I know so many people who have beautiful dreams, you know, amazing dreams. They want to support change. They want to create amazing projects and they start and then they stop because they get distracted, because they don't believe in the success of their project, because they don't see immediate results. But you don't need immediate results if you are on the right path. And there's a question I love, which is serving me all the time. It's, would I do the same thing or what would I do if I were to have all the money and all the time in the world? And if this is very different from what I'm currently doing, then I, I'm realigning to that. 
So maybe today you have a nine to five job and you can do you cannot do exactly what you want on you know your daytime. But maybe you can do it in the evening instead of watching Netflix. Maybe you can do it on the weekend so that you get closer and closer to what you're meant to do here on earth, you know, your life purpose and connected to your heart and really going for it all in. All in is super important. Every time I've been all in, I found ways to make things happen. There is something that happens. You know, there is a sentence that says, the universe conspires you to conspires to help you when you're really going for things. So I'm going to give an example. When I was a student in Ayurveda, I wanted to help someone write a book. So my teacher was a great teacher. It was pretty old. It was not really able to write in proper French. I've been always good with words. So I decided to help him. So we wrote a pitch. We wrote an index for the book and we had beautiful ideas together. And then I started to look for publishers. And then I found a bunch of them, I met them, they didn't want to do this book, and then it opened so many doors for me to become a writer, just because I started it, you know? And just because I stick to it, and I said, yeah, this book is going to happen, we're going to make things happen. And then it doesn't always happen the way we thought it would. Like, I thought I would write the book with this person, I ended up writing a book with another person as a, as a first book. But it did happen, you know what I mean? So um, this is um, actually bringing to my memory, a beautiful uh, memory I had in Bali with a friend here, Peggy. It was in 2018 and we were in Sayuri in Ubud in this uh, beautiful raw uh, vegan restaurant. I'm not a vegan, but just saying it was a beautiful place. They're actually selling my book now, Millionaire from the Heart. If you find it there, buy it there and all the profits like actually 100% of the book price goes to uh, organizations here to support uh, nature and animals and all other beautiful organizations. So where I'm going, um, we, we were talking together between having goals and uh, letting life do its magic. And we came to the conclusion that it's a dance between both. And I love it because in the word abundance, there is dance. I don't know if you've ever noticed, and I actually love dance. I'm a dancer myself. So it's a dance between setting goals and having a vision and moving towards it. You know, it's like, okay, I decide this, like I decide to live there, I decide to write a book, I decide to be an entrepreneur, or I decide, you know, something. I decide to co-create a beautiful relationship with someone, I decide, I go there, and then when you decide, you put yourself in motion to acquire um, skills, to meet people, to take, you know, you take any action that you need to do towards your goal. And then because you're in action, things are going to happen all around you. It's going to be moving. And when it's going to be moving, you're going to be ready to readjust and to seize the opportunities that are coming your way opportunities that you couldn't see before because from where you were not moving you couldn't see the new opportunities ahead of you you had to take that turn to see that on that road there was something else for you and then you have to be ready to seize the opportunities for me chance is not really luck you know chance is a certain form of openness and willingness and the ability to see what's available. And it's only possible when you're moving forward. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share today. That was a little insight from the morning and I hope it's been helpful to you. Um, thank you for being part of my community. A lot of people recently arrived, so welcome into my world. I hope I'm gonna help you achieve whatever your heart wants to create in this world. I have beautiful offers. I'm coming back very soon with my money course, Make Money from the Heart. Don't miss it. I have a free masterclass next week in English, Friday 4 at 4 p.m. Bali time. It's going to be a beautiful masterclass to help you unlock your creativity in, um, in your money journey. And I hope it's going to be helpful for you. I wish you all the best and uh, 
all the success in everything that you will put your heart in and everything that you're going to choose, whatever travel you decide to do in this life and choose a destination and go there and make it happen and send me a postcard. Okay, <laughs> have a great day. If you've enjoyed this episode, please share it and also put it five stars to Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And you can also follow me on YouTube. I'm there with all my videos. See you soon in another episode.